Hatter fans, we're speaking with Stetson Jr. Frederick Brustad, who has been voted the Atlantic Sun Conference Player of the Year. Congratulations, Frederick. Thank you. Hey, you're the first player in school history to be voted as the Conference Player of the Year. How does that make you feel? It feels good. Um, I didn't expect it. I didn't. But, uh, of course, it feels good to be voted to Player of the Year. Absolutely. Hey, you were voted the preseason player of the year also did this make you feel any added pressure as the season went on uh, no not really it didn't uh, just got to keep playing and doing what you can do so uh, no pressure no. okay heading into this weekend's a Sun tournament you lead the team in goals scored with seven mm -hmm. three of those goals came in your hat trick against Manhattan does that day still stand out in your mind oh uh, yeah it does it was a, it was a special day uh, that was a quick hat trick and uh, I haven't done that before so I'm, I'm pretty proud of that one now on the season, six different teammates have registered assists on your goals. How important have your teammates been to your success? Very important. I mean, uh, the team is always important, and we need each other to score goals. And uh, and definitely, uh, we have a lot of good players to give a lot of good assists here, and uh, it's a big thing, team team effort. Yeah. Let's talk a little bit about this weekend's A Sun tournament. You guys are going to go up and take on Jacksonville in the semifinals. Uh, it's a rematch of the last game of the season that ended up in a 1-1 tie. Yeah. What do you think the team has to do differently to come out with a win? Um, I think we have to uh, use our forwards a little better. Last time we were kind of blocked off. We didn't know where to play and we didn't use our forwards completely. Uh, and we'll also have, a little, I think, a, a bit of an advantage because the field we're going to is very big and very good. And we can use our, our flanks better than play up top, play out wide. And I think that's the recipe. All right, now after we score a big win and move on to the championship game, do you have a preference of playing Lipscomb or ETSU for the title? Um, I do. I, I, I do want to play ETSU because uh, they got the number one seed and, and we didn't. Uh, we beat them. So uh, we want to do that again to show really who is the best team in the conference we do. Now, uh, you guys won the championship last year. Do you think your championship run last year will help you guys with this year's tournament? I do. I do. I think we come with a lot of experience um, in our backpack, and um, I think that will help us mentally and practically through the uh, games now. All right, one last question for you. If you had a choice between being voted as the A-Sun Player of the Year or being the A-Sun Tournament MVP, which would you choose? That would be the Tournament MVP. It would be because, <laughs> uh, you know, it's, it's a couple of last games that's, that's important. And uh, it really really doesn't matter uh, who would have been the, the ASUN player of the year. It's a team effort. And right now the, the championship games are the ones that matter. And that's when it's going to be important. All right, excellent. Now, I said that was the last question, so I'm not going to ask you about your new haircut. <laughs> hey, listen, uh, twice you've earned uh, first team all-conference, and you are the 2010 ASUN player of the year. Congratulations, <laughs> and good luck this weekend. Thank you.